appreciate what you. What up, Cal? I would say this team, we've overcame a lot of adversity, uh, battled with the world against us. And I mean, we did a great job of going out there, fighting and competing, but ultimately it wasn't enough. What's We're your going... message uh, to, the, to the guys next in line here at Alabama? So what's my message to the what? To the next guys in line here at Alabama. Finish the job, execute, execute, execute. I mean, you got to value this game and uh, all the little plays and critical plays, they matter and they affect the game in a whole. So with that being said, come out here, man, and finish the job, man, just continue to link. As a leader of this team, uh, how do you pick your boys up, man, in the locker room after this? Let them know everything's going to be all right going forward. Um, it's one of those things where you just grow together and you form those lifelong relationships, like perfect example, Kool Aid and I, we walked off the field crying together. I mean, we came in together and that's my brother for life. So with that being said, in, uh, in moments like this, that uh, the pain, you channel it and you grow from it. And I mean, it, it makes lifelong friendships and you value that and you just continue to just keep that throughout your life. You guys played a lot of close games this year. This was the only one that you guys came out on the losing end of. What do you think was the difference tonight? Honestly, I would just say at the end of the game, they just executed. I mean, that, that was the difference. It was a hard fought game. Obviously, we went into overtime. They had the momentum, they took advantage of it, and they executed. So, with that being said, they just executed at the end. What were your thoughts of uh, JJ McCarthy? It seemed like he was able to make some big plays and some big times tonight. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's a, he, he's a great quarterback. He did a good job uh, keeping his guys poised, and uh, he continued to uh, lead, and it, it was fun playing against him. As a defender, what did you think about running it on fourth and three with the game on the line? Um, that's one of those things that the offense practices. Uh, Jay Mill, that's my best friend. I love when the ball's in his hands, and uh, he's a playmaker. Unfortunately, we came up short, but uh, I wouldn't have had it no other way with the ball in his hand. What do you want to take from this loss? Um, I want to take from this loss and uh, just realize it's one of those moments where you just have to kind of keep the main thing the main thing. With that being said, you have to look forward and uh, pick your guys up and uh, really grow from it. And, that, and that's growing from it in life. I would say this is one of those days where you get emotional, get down on yourself, beat yourself up, but you can't do that in life. I mean, the sun going to rise tomorrow, the moon going <laughs> to drop tonight. So we just got to continue to keep looking forward and just continue to keep living. Terry, on from your perspective, what did you think went wrong on that last drive in the fourth quarter? In the third quarter? Fourth quarter. On the fourth quarter? Uh, I, I was kind of beating myself up about it. I feel like uh, backside, I was compass. I, I had the C gap. The guy bounced over. I tried to arm tackle him. Blake Quorum. I mean, he's a strong runner, low to the ground, power gravity. And, uh, I just got to make that play right there. So I kind of fought myself for that. All right, thanks, Terry. Sure. Thanks, Terry. Gotcha. I said this, it's easy to say that this year was disappointing, but when you look back at how much we've grown, we should be very proud of ourselves. But at the end of the day, we have to learn from this, and we have to learn how to finish better. It's been, Especially when the, the competition gets a lot better. Like that was that was the number one defense in the nation for sure. You know, what struggles, uh, not struggles, but you know, what challenges did their defense pose to you guys? Obviously they were incredible in this game. They they had a lot of movements and a lot of stunts and, and overall they just they just they, they executed it. You know what I mean? They had a um, a good tough hard scheme and, and they just came out on top tonight. You know what I mean? We made plays, they made plays, but ended up making one one or two more plays than we did. Uh, you know, Terry on and Jalen and the whole team has embodied this length motto that all those haters know, and I think you guys did that even by getting to this game. For sure. Even though you guys didn't come out on the winning end, what does tonight's performance, you know, prove to the country about Alabama football? Yeah, that um, while we didn't have the outcome that we didn't want to have, we we're still trying our best to embody the standard. You know what I mean? I said, I talked a lot about the standard after the Georgia game and kind of got away from it today. So we just had to make sure we get back to it and, and keep that throughout the whole time. Uh, that was a great team out there. Uh, and a better team won tonight. Being a leader, how do you get your boys back to that standard mentality after today? I know today is tough. Using this year as an example. You know what I mean? How much we've grown from one, but two, learning from today. Remembering this feeling and letting it drive you from here on out. You guys are a pretty young team. I mean, you look at all the sophomores coming back. I mean, what's your message uh, to, to some of these guys coming back? I mean, this team isn't going anywhere. Oh, yeah, just remember this feeling because uh, a lot of guys are coming back. Of course, we have a, um, a 
key losses, but I really believe the guys in the right positions are going to step up and really help us win next year. What did you think of uh, Justice Hands? You got to see him. Obviously, we knew it was going to be nice, but yeah. he looked really good out there. I mean, Justice has been doing this since the Sugar Bowl practices last year. I remember looking back uh, when he was on scout team, hearing, ooh, ah, just because he was tearing up the defense. You know what I mean? So everything that Justice does is expected, and we're very excited to see him perform next year. Michigan found a lot of success pressuring the quarterback. What did you see from your perspective as an offensive lineman? What went wrong in that area? Uh, they did a lot to challenge our rules. You know what I mean? They had a good tough for our scheme, what we're doing. When we were in six-man protection, when we were in five-man protection, and that changes our point. That changes where you have to go, if the running back is in or not. So them just having a good tell on what we were doing, um, it, it, that's what – because they were able to make us follow our rules, but then they – I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then they had rule breakers in there as well. But um, that's, a, that's just a great football team, you know what I mean? They're the number one defense in the nation for a reason. What did you see on that last play? Uh, uh, mistakes on our end, but can't get back. Just got to learn from it. This was a game that a lot of people in this country didn't expect you guys to even be in. What do you think this performance and getting here proves to people about the Alabama football team? Well, I mean, I feel like we improved each and every game. Even though this is a tough loss, you can still be proud of what we have accomplished, you know, this season. And you know, even though guys got their heads down, you gotta be you gotta be proud to accomplish, you know, what we have so far. Um, we was able to be SEC championship. Um, just you know, you gotta you gotta understand that you gotta look at things in reflection, you, know, you gotta look at the positives, not just the negative right now. Can you speak on what difficulties Blake Corum really provided for Michigan and gave us trouble with all game? I mean, he's a good player. Um, you know, he just did fit the run up, you know, each level. We'll learn from it. Um, I know there's a lot of guys in that locker room that'll be back, and, you know, you gotta learn from the mistakes.